Hey everyone, Kashna here from Danya Studio, and today I'm going to talk about Lonnie Johnson. The purpose of today's episode is to educate you about black creators and people from the past so that you can learn about the great works done by people of color. In today's episode, we are using the Secure Pocket Field Sketchbook box and the Stillman and Burn beta series. And you can find these links to these products in the description box. If you'd like to learn even more about Lonnie Johnson that I may not mention in this video, I'll be sure to link that in the description box below. One more thing I wanted to add is if you're wondering why I'm doing this series, I really wanted to edge I really wanted to educate myself on other people other than the typical black Americans that you hear year to year, like Dr. Martin Luther King, um, Rosa Parks, Jesse Jackson. While these people are all amazing and great people, I wanted to do some research to find out are there any people that are living today like Lonnie Johnson or are there any other people from the past that we haven't heard about in our history books. Now let's go ahead and jump in and talk more about Lonnie Johnson. As I mentioned before, Lonnie Johnson was the creator of Super Soaker. Johnson conceived the Super Soaker while doing work at the U.S. Air Force on October 14, 1983. He applied for a U.S. patent on May 27, 1986, and he received patent number 4591071. Initially, it was called the Power Drencher when it appeared in toy shops in 1990, but after some tweaks and remarketing, it got its selling name, selling between $10 and $60 depending on the model. The Super Soaker took off generating $200 million in sales in 1991. Shortly after making the deal for the Super Soaker with the Laura <laughs> Loramie Corporation, Loremi became subsidiary of Hasbro Inc. in February 1995, but being an inventor, Johnson came up with another idea, replacing the water in the Super Soaker with a toy Nerf projectile. In 1996, Johnson received patent US 5553598A for pneumatic launcher for a toy projectile and the like. In February 2013, Johnson filed a lawsuit against Hasbro after he discovered that he was being underpaid royalties for the Super Soaker and several Nerf line of toys. In November 2013, Johnson was awarded nearly $73 million in royalties from Hasbro Inc. in arbitration. According to Hasbro, the Super Soaker is approaching sales of $1 billion. Now, Johnson currently lives with his wife and their four children in Atlanta, Georgia, and I just think it's crazy that so much had to go into this. Um, recently, he showed up in the news, and I would really encourage you to go ahead and do some research about this man. I would hope that if you are a creator, that you learn to protect what you make and to be sure that you are getting paid for what you create. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy these series, and if you have any suggestions of people that I should go ahead and do a quick sketch of, be sure to comment that below, and I'll see you in the next one. Before I switch you over to the music to enjoy, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Kashnadanya, and you can sign up for my newsletter at danyastudio.co. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.